you too what it do if you're my fan welcome back you new to the channel just call me kid so look now we got another video today so now we're going to touch on uh virgil abloh so first off i want to give an introduction to him if y'all might not know who he was uh he was the artistic director of louis vuitton menswear collection beginning in 2018 and he also founded off-white in 2012 so going along to uh a little bit more of what he did so he started basically his start his rise to fame in the fashion industry uh he was a he started off as an intern at fendi in, in 2009 alongside kanye west so that's when those two got very acquainted with each other you know what i'm saying they got real close they was they was they was tight you know what i'm saying after working together uh, in 2011, Kanye actually asked him to serve as the artistic director for the joint album that he had with Jay-Z called Watch the Throne. In, in 2018, Ablo was named artistic director of Louis Vuitton's menswear ready wear line, making him the first person of African descent to lead the brand's menswear line. Uh, Ablo showed his first collection for Louis Vuitton at the 2018 Men's Fashion Week. Uh, Playboy Cardi, Steve Lacey, ASAP Nas, Dev Hines, and Kid Cudi walked the runway for, A for Ablo's debut Vuitton show. And by the end of 2018, an uh, index of sales and consumer sentiment ranked Off-White as the hottest label in the world, surpassing Gucci. So this man made a very big impact on the fashion world now what i have to touch on unfortunately now do not take this as me saying that you cannot be successful in america people always take this the wrong way people always try to be racing to this and say oh you're just trying to bring another black successful man down first of all you can be successful in america we're talking about Hollywood and how the Hollywood game is run and how everybody has to follow the same agenda. Everybody stays in the same line. This is how Hollywood works. You can be the dude that nobody knows that's making a million dollars a year, two million dollars a year without selling your soul. You do not have to sell your soul to make it in America. This is not about black, white, anything. It's, it's black people, white people that sold out. It's Mexican people that sold out. Italian people that sold out. Anybody in Hollywood sells out. This is not about me trying to tear a black person down. Because that is not what this is about. Now, anyway, moving along. So as you can see, my man's Virgil right here is giving you the one-eye symbolism. Showing you that he's down. He's down with the occult. He's accepted all the beliefs and he's rolling with it because he wants to achieve a certain amount of success in Hollywood. Once again, so, so perfectly showing off that one eye symbolism. Who has ever done this to your hat? Have you worn a hat like this where you've cut the corner out just so you can show that one eye symbolism? Oh, so perfectly. And once again, here you here he goes showing you who he's aligned with, showing you the devil horns. Once again, whoever he's with, I have no clue who that is, but whoever he's with, you know, birds of a feather flock together. And he has the black and white Masonic checkerboard on his clothing. Now, you wearing a Masonic checkerboard, I could wear black and white all day. You could wear something with a Masonic checkerboard on it, and it's really not going to mean nothing. But when these people do it, when people in Hollywood do it, it has a deeper meaning. So I'm going I'm to take a little, uh, 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 a little, uh, I guess, an intermission and kind of explain what that means. Right. So this is the same Masonic checkerboard that's in any Freemasonic Lodge that you go to. You have a Freemasonic Lodge in your city everyone does it's in it's it's everywhere you can't run from it you can't escape it it's everywhere this is the checkerboard pattern that's going to be on any masonic lodge floor 
So the Masonic checkerboard is one of the most important symbols to the Illuminati for it is used in ritualistic ceremonies. This is used because black and white is a symbol for duality or the base of consciousness. Base consciousness is important because it is where all other states of mind arise. So this is someone's and then he's putting his personal opinion. He's saying, I like to think that checkerboards are also symbols for the celebrities being pawns, which is true because they all show the same symbolism, showing that they've accepted this ideology. So for you guys that are saying we're tearing black people down, uh, here's Alexander McQueen. He's not a black person. Amy Winehouse, she's not a black woman and she's wearing a black and white checkerboard. Angelina Jolie, she she got the white, she got the black and white mace on the checkerboard. So th this this is just for the people that, that like to use race to ignore what's right in front of you. This is not a black and white thing. So we got Avril Lavigne. She she also got the checkerboard pattern. Beyonce, Britney Spears. It, I mean, the list just goes on, bro. I could I could scroll. Do you see how long? I, I don't know if y'all see this or not, but y'all see how long this scroll bar is? I could go on and on, bro. On and on, and all your celebrities. Look at the Kim Kardashians. This is actually their house. They have this checkerboard pattern in the front of their house. They have it in the front of their house. Katy Perry, Kid Cudi. Everybody's doing it. What are what what is the the reason that so many the matrix which we living in? What's so what's the what's the coincidence? Michael Jackson, everybody, everybody, every single person in Hollywood. Now, here he goes showing the duality again with the black and white. Once again, that Masonic checkerboard. Look at look at where he got. Look at how he got these people dressed up. Look how they got. Look how he got them wearing black and white so, so perfectly. Once again. And he's throwing you off saying he support black women because look at the symbolism that he's showing you at the same time. He supports black women, but he supports other things as well. Look at his boy Kanye, his best friend with the black and white duality in the background. Once again, saying wearing that same checkerboard pattern. I mean, these, these people, they show you the same symbolism. I can I can do this forever. I, I can always have a YouTube career by taking one person at a time. It'll take me a lifetime. Birds of a feather flock together. You got your boy Travis Scott. You already know how he get down. Uh, look at uh, them having an intimate moment. I don't know why they gazing at each other like this, but birds of a feather look who he hangs around it's it's very simple to know a lot about a person by the by the people that he, that they surround themselves with once again kanye and virgil and it, and it's, it was very it was very strange that kanye west wiped his instagram clean after virgil's death that was very weird instead of like posting a, a picture up saying like you know giving your sorrows or giving your like condolences to the family you just decide to wipe your instagram clean it's kind of weird once again your boy travis scott you already know how he get down look what's on his hat astro world you already know what happened there look at look at the look at the black and white hypnotic you know little spiral he got going on there that's what he had them people under a, a hypnotic trance and led them straight to hell this is what these people do all right now this now this information right here is from zachary hubbard his youtube channel is uh gematria effect sports so basically what gematria is 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 translating letters to numbers first of all the original is it would be a is one z is 26 so on and so forth now the full reduction is, is doing that same thing but getting single digits so o for instance would be uh a b c d hold on e. at 15 so we got 15 but we getting single digits so you take that 15 and you break it down to one and five so one plus five is six f will be six so, so right there is is basically six 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 white. You see what I'm saying? 
but but you would break it down like that add the numbers up and that's how you would get you know what i'm saying these uh these numbers right here so off-white was 47 virgil equals 41 which he also died at 41 uh baton which is who he worked for equal 41 uh the number of the beast equals 174 uh virgil died on kanye west 174th day of his age so this is basically basically like breaking it down to a sense that everything is scripted you know the world is a big stage and they use numerology to do so to carry out all these quote-unquote sacrifices who knows if these people really dying you know what i'm saying but the world is a big stage and these they all they doing is using these these actors so remember that off-white equals 47 beast which is part of the number of the beast equals 47 france equals 47 which was connected to louis vuitton and notice kanye is 44 years old right now so we got 44 so now if you add up the date of his death his death day you add up that numerology and you get 44. now they say the man had cancer which they said the same thing with chadwick bozeman they said the same thing that he had some some uh case of cancer that nobody knew about he was quietly battling it you see this is what they always say to these people uh how could i say that's not street rappers the street rappers they always say they get killed in their hometown but somebody that's not associated with that type of life they always say they got cancer they just they just had some type of cancer that they was dealing with very quietly not even no even they fam they family didn't even know that they was dealing with this like what come on now so cancer equals 44 chemo equals 44 kill equals 44 so let's move on and okay pay attention to this kanye west choir covers adele's easy on me at a sunday service dedicated to virgil not easy on me now it, it's certain it's certain little uh sections how you add it up is different so sometimes they take it reverse it's it's watch i'm a i'm a link zach hubbard's video on this where he uh does the full breakdown of how he gets the numbers but if you add the numbers up you get 38 and 97 for each of these murder is 38 death 38 ablo 38 Sandra Bullock also starred in a movie called Murder by Numbers. And, and look right here. We got that 38 in the title. So it's like they putting this right in front of us just to see who going to get it. You see what I'm saying? Let the mind games begin. Murder by Numbers, bro. Now, this one is spooky, right? Because we already know what's up with Kim. So now keep that 38 in mind. He also died 38 days after Kim Kardashian's 41st birthday. Didn't he die when he was 41? See how these numbers are all connected? Death equals 38. Murder equals 38. Killing equals 38. RIP equals 38. He died 38 days after Kim Kardashian's 41st birthday. So could this be a Kim and, and Kanye? Could this be a Kanye sacker? I don't know. I don't know. But that's just very crazy how these numbers just line up so perfectly like this. You see what I'm saying? Now, what's also crazy, uh, y'all might not know who this is. Nine times out of ten, y'all don't know who this is. But he was an artist that worked with, uh, he, he he's a producer and he was a rapper. Uh, he produced tracks for Juicy J, Lil Uzi Vert, Wiz Khalifa, Rob Banks, ASAP Mod, which contains ASAP Rocky and all those other guys, Lil Tracy and others. So he was he was in the game. You see what I'm saying? You're not just finna be no regular producer and you able to produce tracks for people like this. You see what I'm saying? You finna you finna like I said, bro, birds of a feather, bro. And this was uh, one of his mixtapes. So he was never. Uh, he was never the one to shy away from, you know, showing this symbolism. He really didn't care. So this is a video right here of his. Uh, we just gonna we just gonna react to it. I actually got some um some timestamps. You know, I always write the 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 uh, thumb the the timestamps for y'all, so I don't waste y'all time. 
so we got 03 so this one right here self-explanatory this this is how he feels this is what he's saying look at his twitter picture this these are his tweets look at his profile picture like he don't care these people don't care no more they really don't their time is running out they're trying to get as many of y'all as possible so move on 20 seconds so he say once y'all stop thinking everything is some clout shit y'all gonna soon realize that you can lose your life next too just like all these other motherfuckers keep talk keep taking life for a joke and see what happened you ain't gotta believe this shit but when your time come don't cry life is real he said the dark side finna take over no christians allowed just 66 shit only like this this is how this man like he they really don't care and here he go telling you all the rappers that are under the devil's alliance so you can go ahead and read this list go ahead and read this list now it's, it's the reason why i'm showing you this video all right so let's go to 32 seconds y'all can pause that and read all the names obviously he not gonna name it's it's way more than this but this is just the list that he's showing you you know three six mafia obviously that was right in front of us all alone three six mafia i mean come on now uh little peep and gucci man obviously rihanna little key and many more many more now more importantly not not pay attention to the date that this video came out november 21st so this was seven days before anything even happened to virgil so look right here fashion designers that are under the devil's alliance virgil so is it truth in plain sight or, or or is once again Kim folk just the crazy man <laughs> the crazy man that need to be in an asylum you know what I'm saying is it truth in plain sight man y'all let me know what y'all think man these people are, are are playing mind games the world is a stage they're doing nothing but orchestrating these events these people are putting things right in front of your face they lead you down a dark path and they plan off of your lack of knowledge they plan off of your ignorance they think you just going to be stupid forever. This is how they feel about you. They taking you down that path right with them and they're telling you what they're doing. So don't let don't don't play the fool. Don't continue. Once you've watched this video, you've been exposed to this information. So now it's on you. If you're going to continue to be stupid and continue to fall down that path, now it's your fault because I've already showed you this information. You see what I'm saying? You could be fooled. Fool me once, you know what I'm saying? Shame on you, but fool me twice. Nah, I'm the fool. But that's it for this video, man. I'm out.